There is no reason to believe that the U.S. decision to allow the use of ATACMS missiles on Russian territory is already on the way. This was stated by the head of the Center for Military and Legal Studies of Ukraine, Alexander Musienko, on air at the telethon. According to him, threatening trends have emerged recently. Three missiles that the Russians recently used to strike Kharkov were identified as S-300 and S-400. They have not been used for many weeks. According to Musienko, the fact that the enemy has once again begun to move S-300 installations closer to the border makes it necessary to obtain permission from the United States for long-range strikes on Russian territory. In order to protect against ballistic strikes, it is necessary to have the ability to strike with ATACMS or even better with a JASSM missile for an F-16 aircraft and with a range of 370 kilometers. And then this will guarantee a certain zone from which it will be problematic for the enemy to carry out attacks, Musienko emphasized. According to him, Russia's decision to move its planes deeper into the country is temporary due to the threat of Ukrainian strikes on airfields from which the enemy's planes bomb Ukraine take off, because when they no longer see a threat, they will fly again. I hope that these decisions on lifting restrictions on strikes against the Russian Federation will be made. There are reasons to believe that they are already on the way, Musienko emphasized. According to him, the Ukrainian delegation's transfer of the list of targets should convince the American side that Ukraine will strike only at military targets in accordance with the requirements of international law. This is a decision to break the patterns in the minds of those who are accustomed to the doctrine of nuclear deterrence. The expert notes, much has been written and said for decades, he said, about how red lines cannot be crossed because Russia will strike back. This formed a whole galaxy of politicians. Biden also came out of those times and knows very well what the Cold War was and what nuclear deterrence was. That is why they constantly doubt. Musienko notes, According to him, the reaction of the leadership of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Aggressor State, Russian war correspondents, they are all hysterical, shows that they understand that there will be a decision. They seem to be anticipating this decision. They also feel that it will happen, Musienko said. Ukraine blitzed Russian soldiers with a flamethrower drone to wipe them out of their positions. The Sun Media Outler reported this. An flamethrower drone belonging to the Ukrainian army set fire to the forest strip where the soldiers of the invading Russian army were positioned. The images were distributed on telegram channels. The forest strip was destroyed by the fire of the drone. Incredible footage shows a Ukrainian FPV drone raining down flesh-melting thermite on a tree line understood to be occupied by Russian troops. The drone can be seen flying low just above the tree lean as it throws flames to burn and wipe pit enemy positions. Large plumes of smoke can be seen billowing from the trees as the Ukrainian drone blitzed Russian troops with the flamethrower.